what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel uh, and in this tutorial i'm going to show you the proper way of adding uh, the direction and uh, distance be distance labels on uh, your drawing inside uh, arcgs software so first of all before you even open the let me uh, open the arcgs software and uh, as it's open up let me open the data that we're going to plot <clears throat> so I'm going these are uh, these are the points the the coordinates that we want to plot and then uh, create a drawing so before we even uh, before you even import this uh, data inside ArcGIS we need to convert it into CSV so and, and in order to do that uh, go to the file tab click on it and then click on save us and then navigate to where we want to the destination file folder and then uh, uh, label it as as want um, i'm going to leave it uh, the name as it is and then uh, what you need to do is to choose the type so save as type uh, uh, you can choose as text uh, tab delimited this also uh, acceptable, acceptable inside the civil uh, the arcgis software but for this uh, tutorial, I'm going to choose uh, the CSV uh, comma delimited uh, uh, format. And then I'm going to click Save. Now, uh, in order to uh, import this data inside the ArcGIS software, you need to close the uh, CSV file. Do not open this. You cannot open uh, CSV file inside an ArcGIS software when uh, it, when the CSV is file CSV file is still open, so I can see now the ArcGIS software is open. So what we need to do is to import the the this CSV. We need to open it inside the ArcGIS software. And uh, in order to op to add data, just click on this uh, button that says Add Data, and then navigate to where you stored the uh, your CSV uh, file. Mine is inside the desktop and then under this folder, add. And then you can see that there's nothing on the screen. Just uh, make sure that uh, on the uh, table of content, if you're not able to see table of contents, uh, on this, uh, on the cast on the Windows, Windows uh, tab, uh, if you click on Windows tab, you'll see table of contents. You click on it and then it will actually uh, be placed probably on your left hand side so right click on this uh, csv file that has been imported and then display data now you need to specify the uh, field the, uh, the fields and uh, you can see that x field we have x field the x field is uh, hissing and then y is nothing if you have the elevation data you can also specify under z file under the Z field, and then I'm going to uh, specify the uh, coordinate system. Mine is in UTM. Click OK, and then click OK. Click OK. Now you can see that uh, this data has been displayed. Uh, but before you do, uh, before you do anything, you need to convert this. Uh, these are not shape files, so you need to convert this one into shape file. And in order to do that, go to the table of content again. Uh, under the the coordinates that we've just import imported or just right click on it make sure that you highlight then right click and then uh, click data so under data we're going to export data as we share file so navigate to where you want to store your share file and then uh, give the give your points a name then make sure that uh, the save type is a uh, file it's a shape file and not a file or personal uh, database change that to shape file and then click save click ok <coughs> click yes now that we have the shape file we don't need this uh, folder again just delete it and then before you even proceed it's good to also save your data
or you can just say labels like that and then click save now what we need to do first of all I'm going to change the uh, the sh uh, the color and the uh, point type of these uh, points I'm going to choose something like a circle with a dot at the center and I'm going to change the color to something like pink I'm also going to reduce the size to something like 8 points and I click OK so you also need to label uh, the points you can right click and then click uh, label features you can see that uh, label the features are now labeled but uh, I'm going to change the color of this text label so right click and uh, then go to properties so under layer properties go to uh, label tabs and then make sure that you check this uh, uh, checkbox and uh, label all features the same way and uh, choose the label field you can choose nothing but mine I'm going to stick with station and uh, the font I'm going to increase to the font to 9 and I'm going to change the color of this text to to match with the color of the points which is pink <coughs> and then click apply and then ok like so and then save your work so I'm going to uh, create another another shape file uh, for uh, line for line work that is a proper boundary in order to do that uh, click on the catalog and uh, it's going to open up so navigate to the same place where you stored your points mine or wherever you want to store your that particular shape file so I'm going to label this so if you right click on this uh, destination folder right click on it and then uh, choose new go to share file and then give it a name so I'm going to give mine something like like that and then the feature type is going to to be polyline and uh, coordinate system uh, I'm going to choose uh, 37 south it's ok click ok so I'm going also to change uh, the appearance of that particular uh, shape file. Number one, I'm go going to increase the width to uh, 1.5, and then uh, color I'm going to change to something like purple, and then click OK. Now we have we have the uh, the line uh, shape file. So we need to uh, edit that line so what we need to do is to uh, to start editing click on editor and then start editing and uh, so now our editor is active then under inside this editor there is uh, the last tab for creating features click on it and then uh, this window is going to open on your right hand side that is called create features uh, click on the uh, shape file that you want to <coughs> edit and then at the bottom of that particular uh, window there is this construction tools click on a line and then start from wherever we want to start I'm going to start from this point this point and then right click click finish finish sketch uh, from this point to this point uh, right click finish this point to this point right click finish that point to that point right click finish and then finally and then uh, so we can click on this edit and then click save click on it again and then stop editing so now that we save your work now that we have uh, we have already uh, plotted this, that line we are going to right click on this shape file and open the attribute table to just have a look at what is inside uh, the that uh, property boundary so you can see there's uh, nothing much uh, what we're going to do we are going to add 
uh, two fields one for direction like so and then the data type for uh, direction I'm going to give it text give it text and then uh, you can reduce that to something like uh, uh, 20 the length uh, click OK we're going to create another field for uh, say distance for distance and then this one is going to be double and then click OK now we have two fields we have added two fields uh, uh, so what we need to do under we can add distance by make sure that we select the uh, distance column click uh, click at, the, at that uh, uh, header distance and then right click go to uh, calculate geometry and then click yes so the property that we are dealing with is length so make sure that you select length is uh, if you have defined your coordinate system is automatically going to be selected or to be uh, populated inside this uh, field and then you can choose your appropriate units uh, for this case I'm going to choose uh, meters and then click OK click yes so now you can have you can see that we have our distances but uh, we're going to right click again so that we can uh, change the values to two decimal places so what I did uh, under field properties uh, go to under numeric click on these three dotted uh, buttons and then there is this rounding section section uh, reduce this to two decimal places click OK apply and click OK now you can see now, now we have our distances in two decimal places close down the attribute table and then uh, go to edit again click on this edit uh, button go to options we are going to do some settings so under units uh, make sure that uh, the direction the direction type uh, is azimuth mine is for this case I'm going to choose azimuth uh, but of course you can choose that whatever that uh, suits your need choose south polar we have also quadrant bearing and this one, uh, uh, I, I am, uh, I'm quite sure that a majority of you are familiar with the quadrant bearing. For this case, I said I'm going to stick with the North Azimuth. So the units, you can also change to whatever that you want. But for this case, uh, it's degrees, minutes, and seconds. And then decimal places, zero. So apply and OK. And now, uh, in order to add the... In order to populate the bearing or the direction, we are going to click on to on this editor. And if you can not be able to see the editor on your ArcGIS, place your cursor at the top of this software, something somewhere here, and then right click, and then uh, go down, scroll down until you see the editor. You can see mine is active here. So if you click on it. This tick, if I click on it, it disappears. If I go back and then click on it, it uh, comes back. So uh, go to editor and then uh, start editing. And then uh, right, click on it again, go to more editing. We're going to open up the Kogo. Uh, so you can see the button that you want to deal with is, is actually grayed out. It is grayed out. So uh, it is because you need to select uh, all the lines that uh, you want to add the uh, direction. So what we, what we need to do is go back to uh, table of content, click on that uh, particular shape file, and then open attribute table. Then on the rows, uh, click, make sure that you select everything like that. Uh, or also you can just select one by one then click shift and select one by one like that as as you are holding down uh, shift shift key like so then just close it down you can now see our button update Kogo attributes is now active so 
uh, click on it and then go back to uh, attribute table open attribute table you can now see the direction have been uh, updated so if i go you can now uh, save and stop editing close down the cogo and then now we have uh, the direction updated and if i open up the source of this data uh, the survey plan uh, first of all before you even go there let me just uh, so we are going to add the degree symbol inside these uh, directions and uh, how to do that uh, start editing and then uh, double click on you cannot edit while you are not in the uh, editing session so you need to start editing and then I'm going to delete that uh, dash and then uh, press down uh, alt key hold it down and then type zero one did zero one seven six that's the code for uh, for the degree symbol and then release the alt key you can see the degree symbol has been inserted and then repeat this uh, this one you can manually insert the I don't know if it's called apostrophe or the single quote then double quote like so uh, so we're going to repeat for the we're going to uh, go to the second one uh, repeat the same uh, hold down alt key 0176 and release alt as like as simple as that and then like so and then uh, double quote so press and hold alt 0176 and then uh, the minute symbol and then double quotes double click again uh, press down alt 0176 again release alt space uh, delete the dash uh -huh. and fi finally uh, repeat the same uh, minutes and then uh, seconds so uh, save your edits and then stop editing now uh, we need to display this uh, we need to display uh, the direction and distance on our line so what we need to do uh, first of all close down the attribute table and then right click on the line shape file go to uh, go to properties and then the label you're going to uh, first choose direction and then under direction so now now that we have direction we also need to add another field and I'm going to do that using an expression so click on expression and then uh, uh, for this case uh, I'm going to change the parser to uh, uh, Python uh, I'm familiar with Python I'm not uh, familiar with the VB script so I'm going to choose Python uh, and we're going to do uh, text uh, concatenation if we understand Python so now that we have uh, direction selected or if we can just delete that then click on it then uh, plus and then uh, double quote uh, uh, double quote and then uh, so first of all let us first of all see how it's going to appear like that so click uh, plus double quote we're going to add a new line and in order to add a new line in python uh, click on uh, the, i don't know this is forward slash or i think it's forward slash and then n uh, double quotes and then plus 
and then uh, double click on distance like so and then you can verify you can see now we have uh, this is the sample or the preview of uh, how the label is going to appear click OK <coughs> and then uh, click OK we're going to increase the font to something like 14 and the label should the uh, color should match the line like so and then let me uh, make it bold like so and then apply uh, make sure that to check this uh, box and then apply now you can see now that uh, you can also inc can increase this to 16 then apply now we can see our points are off they are not uh, properly aligned and uh, so in order to align go to placement properties uh, and then under placement and the position make sure that uh, it is first of all orientation is parallel and then the position is on the line and then uncheck the above this above and uh, let's try and see apply and then uh, you can see the labels especially uh, the distances are too close to the line uh, so we can do some changes there click uh, first of all what I've done uh, I've just cl uh, clicked on the symbol go to edit symbol and uh, uh, go to Y uh, offset Y by let's say something like negative 1.5 and uh, uh, format go to formatted text the leading let's make it something like also 1.5 then ok okay apply uh, let's increase that a little bit to something like three let, it, let us increase this to something like three okay okay apply uh, okay now everything looks fine but uh, we also need to increase <coughs> the font of uh, of these uh, points let me let us make it something like uh, 11 apply okay and then <coughs> you can see that some uh, uh, point labels are actually crossing the line what you can do right click on the parcel and then go to properties <coughs> and then go to placement properties and the under uh, conflict uh, detection make it high or medium make sure that to check this uh, place of overlapping la labels okay apply okay now you can see we have successfully added uh, Uh, the labels that is uh, bearing and distances uh, <coughs> on our lines uh, so if I open up the survey plan the source uh, the source file that I was talking about you can see uh, the bearing the distances all the bearing the distances are actually almost accurate and uh, there is slight uh, differences because I believe it's because I uh, I did some transformation to the coordinates uh, these coordinates are in are in Cassini as you can see and uh, I transformed them to ArcGIS 19 uh, Arc 1960 UTM zone 37 south so the bearing are actually uh, different differing by a seconds which is not 
which is going to which is not going to alter the uh, position of the corner beacons so that's the end of this tutorial guys i hope uh, you have learned something today and uh, consider subscribing guys see you in the next tutorial